matter what faith you are, that spirit of compassion is conveyed by uh, our sisters, but also all of our associates. It's the end of an era for Buffalo's Sisters of Charity Hospital in a tradition that predates the Civil War. News 4's Alicia Rodriguez shows us the hospital will still run, but without many of the people who've made a difference in how patients are treated. For 166 years, the Daughters of Charity have brought comfort to the sick and healing in Buffalo's Catholic hospitals. Most of the places we, the daughters went to, we had one hospital, but here, you know, at any one time, we had four hospitals and schools and orphanages. So um, it's really, the history is very rich here. But that tradition came to an end last October when the sisters announced they are handing over their healing work to doctors, nurses, and other support staff. Often a sister was in charge of the pharmacy, the kitchen, every nursing unit. But that has changed through the years. The Western New York community had a chance to say goodbye and thank you during a Mass Sunday. <laughs> sisters from across the country joined the five Buffalo sisters that remain as they prepare to leave the city they consider home. I really wish I could have stayed longer because I think I would have formed some good friendships here and dug roots. But I didn't, so I leave with the best feelings, except the weather I wasn't too crazy about, but after the past winter, I said, well, if Buffalonians can do it, I can do it. These sisters will move on to hospitals in other communities that have fewer resources and fewer people to help heal more than just sick bodies. We all want to be cared for well and competently, but we all want to have that compassion and that no matter what faith you are, that spirit of compassion is conveyed by uh, our sisters, but also all of our associates. Reporting in Buffalo, Alicia Rodriguez, News 4.